Many New Zealand exporters don't have the budget to hold stock in their customers' markets, so they ship it directly from New Zealand. If you're doing this, everything your customer experiences once they've pressed buy is in the hands of your freight forwarder. They'll collect it, get it through export and import processes and deliver it to the customer's door. They'll even manage your returns. Even though you're pulling all the strings backstage, they're on the front line interacting with your customers, so you need to be happy your brand is reflected well through your freight forwarder. One, global or local freight forwarders, which is best? Freight forwarders usually fall into two categories, big international players like DHL and FedEx, and local players with a strong, more personal presence in New Zealand and Australia, as well as connections into global markets. We're talking Main Freight, Courier Post, and New Zealand Post. When it comes to choosing one, some of the main things to think about are transit time, service, and cost. If you're looking for a premium door-to-door -door service with outstanding tracking, global players are often the way to go. They've got the best reach and can usually provide better visibility in real time and faster delivery, but it usually comes at a cost. On the other hand, local players are more likely to offer a solid cost-effective service but you'd need to fully understand how they're going to get the product from your warehouse to the customer's door. It's worth noting that quite often, they'll use other freight forwarders on your behalf, so you need to be comfortable with this. Some couriers have more benefits in certain areas and different freight price points for delivery speed and tracking. Courier Post and New Zealand Post are well connected with other national postal services, such as UPS, United Parcel Service. Overall, it's all about who does what when it comes to delivery and how that represents your business. It may be that you need more than one option and many exporters do use a few. Some only use the global players for a premium service. Two, what to look out for. You don't need to be a supply chain expert to understand what you should expect from your freight forwarder. Asking these questions will start to give you a good idea of what they can offer. Where can they deliver? How quickly can they deliver? What's the quality of their delivery like? Is there a premium option? How do they manage returns? How well do they know your markets? And do they use their own fleet or outsource to another party? You'll also want to know about tracking. What's their tracking visibility like? What does standard tracking look like? And are customers notified along the way? Another area to explore is integration. What are the plugins that you can use to integrate to your order management system? And later down the line, could you add your own branded tracking experience on your platform? Three, managing your freight forwarder. Once you've chosen your freight forwarder, you'll want to know that they're delivering on their promises. Regardless of who you've gone with, here are a few things you should expect. You should also be able to see how they're doing during the last leg of the journey, the last mile, a good way to measure this is using DiFot IS, delivery in full, on time, and in spec, not damaged. Getting 98% of orders to the customer by the time you've promised is considered standard. In fact, many companies are achieving over 99%. If your freight forwarder is sending customers updates or alerts, they're probably asking for customer feedback. Sharing it with you can give you a good sense of how things are going. Given how export-focused New Zealand businesses are, speaking to other exporters who are in a similar market or are selling a similar type of product can also be a great way to find out what they've already learned from their experiences with freight forwarders. For more information and help on exporting, please visit MyNZTE.